Ladies and gentlemen, today's video is brought to you by Wholesomeness. 100% cruelty-free, total home, uh, wholesomeness. Well, I almost said homelessness, Jesus Christ. But ladies and gentlemen, I just want to thank you all for helping the maniac out. You know, when I made that video, he had an 8,000 subscriber channel that he was trying to get off the ground. And, you know, we all hope for the best on this individual. And you guys really made this person's day. 35,000 subscribers already. And it seems like people are watching his content and genuinely enjoying it. And I gotta throw out a big thank you for it. I mean, I've been really transparent. I love you all a lot, and I love the relationship that we have. But I think the most important thing on this channel is what we do for the community and what we give back. And for some of these people that had the really shittiest start to a year, I'm so glad that they came out of the circle and actually just superseded the people that fucked them over in the first place. It's this kind of stuff that I live for, and it's what makes every upload worth it. So again, big pat on the back to all of you people. You made this shit happen. Thank you very much for it. But one thing that I am really, really tilted about is this shit. Now, I follow a lot of tech channels, and this is a channel that I did follow for AMD stuff. Joker Review. Now, why would I cover this in particular? Well, because this fucking channel is gone! Whoa, why is it gone, Muto? What happened? Why are you pissed? Well, it seems like somebody has hacked this channel the exact same fucking way. And they've actually done it so bad that YouTube deleted the channel. So let's just go over to it. This has been the worst day of my life. I don't know what's going on, but it appears an outside entity took control of my account and posted content against the YouTube community guidelines. The content in particular focuses on Ethereum. So what has happened is people are hijacking channels and running these Ethereum streams on them. And these streams get like a thousand viewers. They get a shit ton of dislikes and eventually they get taken down and they get the channels that they're involved in taken down as well because of YouTube's automated systems. So if we read their stock fucking response, we'd like to inform you that due to repeated or severe violations of our community guidelines, our your YouTube channel, Foundation Ethereum, which isn't even his channel in the fucking first place, it's just titled that, after review, we've determined that activity uh, which prohibits scams, spams, commercially deceptive content, which is the dumbest fucking shit that I've heard because the amount of 3 a.m. channels that I've covered in my life shows that they don't give a fuck about that whole point. Scams, spams, and commercially deceptive content. Hey, as long as you're fucking, you know, screwing over fetuses with their knowledge of buying slaves off the dark web, I guess it's all fucking okay. Because this shit... No, this is bad. This is not okay. This is evil. This is bad, these. That's what I'm getting out of it, okay? It's just the dumbest point that they can have. And before I go on a tangent about that, I'm just going to continue this video off as, as, as fresh as I can. Going on the internet, if you go to YouTube.com and you type in Joker Productions, of course the channel is gone. But he talked about Foundation Ethereum. And if you go to Foundation Ethereum, you can actually see over here that they're talking about Foundation Ethereum, 27.7k subscribers, 61k subscribers, 111. So which one's the real one? Well, if you go to Ethereum Foundation and you just search for it on Google, hopefully you'll come across, hey, their Wikipedia page. So go to the Wikipedia page. And here it's the open source public blockchain based distributed computing platform. Now, just to start off with, Ethereum is not only a cryptocurrency, it's actually a place where uh, it's a blockchain technology where people are actually running applications off of their entire video games that are settled on this stuff to begin with. It's, uh, it's actually crazy what they've got. But if you look over here, they've got a GitHub, but they've got a website. So let's go to the website. Going to the website takes you to Ethereum as a global open source platform for decentralized applications. Cool. GitHub, Twitter, YouTube, blog. Okay, let's open their Twitter, YouTube, and blog up, okay? Ethereum's Twitter does not talk about this at all. In fact, if anything, all they're talking about is how great their fucking technology is. Cool, awesome, amazing, I'm glad. Well, you go to their blog page. Never talked about it at all. They don't have anything on their blog page. But let's go to their YouTube page. 27.7k subs. So it's this one right here. Not the most popular channel, you know, 306 views, 151 views, 63, whatever. This ain't a fucking dick singing contest, I get it. But let's go to their things. This is the real one. Cool. What are these? Foundation? Foundation Ethereum? Okay, let's click on both of these. Wow, no content. No content at all, but they've got to join. But what? I swear to God, how is this possible? Well, look at the fucking URL! Gaming Recipe Chan? Okay, this belonged to that channel. Mr. Hollow PvP? Well, let's look up where Mr. Hollow PvP is doing these days. Does he have his own channel? 
Oh, would you look at that? The channel is hijacked. He even talked about it in the fucking deal over here. Okay, well, there's gotta be a way. Let's see how many of them this is. Filter and go to channel. So go into the channel. Holy crap, there's so many more here. Okay, let's click on Ethereum Express Foundation. What's this? Okay, it's a totally separate website. Cool. Ethereum Foundation official. Okay, let's click the official. Shiny fail blog? Get out of here, bro. These are all bullshit. You're lying to us. This is all stuff that's been hijacked and it's running the Ethereum Foundation. In fact, if you click on the GitHub link right here, you'll actually get taken to their official GitHub page, the verified GitHub page. Do they talk about it here? No, they don't talk about it. It's just more and more people hijacking under the name of Foundation Ethereum and running it this way. In fact, the more and more you go down, they have multiple channels like Nitrogene FR4. In fact, the webs the, the actual original videos are still on here, but they're just, I don't know if the person changed it themselves. They have literally hacked channels that have been created before Ethereum was even a thing. It's crazy. Now, I've also been following this one thing going on regarding uh, the Elon Musk BTC scam, where basically anybody on Twitter that's talked about BTC to begin with has actually had a bunch of impersonators. So here's Path EUK. I'm giving 10,000 Bitcoin, which is, I guess, the fake fucking version of Bitcoin. Cool. I left the post of director of Tesla. Thank you all for your support. To be fair, if you fell for this, I'm pretty sure you deserve the fucking scam. But they come with these websites that you go to and somehow they lead you to free Bitcoin. Never happens. People fall for the stupidest shit, hoo-ha, the whole world works. I don't know if this is exactly, uh, you know, working in tandem with what we're witnessing over here, but to be honest with you, security is a big issue, and some of the channels that I've covered are people that should know about these scams. So I don't know if it's falling for phishing emails or falling for the weird sponsorships that we talked about not too long ago, or this kind of stuff, but everything is all amalgamating, at least into this organized hack run by people who want to manipulate or represent the Ethereum Foundation. Do I believe the Ethereum Foundation is behind this, a big project like that? No, because if they were to do this, they'd have so much negative attention that nobody's gonna put any stock into their crypto markets or cryptocurrencies or their blockchain to begin with. So this obviously is somebody who's trying to make this organization look bad or at least is using their name. But despite it happening, the organization has not said a fucking word. And this is where I'm taking them to task. ETC Foundation, I know somebody is gonna watch this video. It has to be somewhat of a fucking deal because I hope this video gets shared around because honestly, I want these people's channels to come back. All these individuals that have gotten their channels hacked, not just Joker Productions, but every single person I've mentioned and even the people that I didn't mention deserve their channels to come back. Nobody is mentioning a word on this. I know YouTube is trying to assist people in this endeavor and that's cool and all, but honestly, Google, you need to be stepping in. It's not YouTube's requirement. YouTube is doing what they do, but at this point, they're making Google account security look like a fucking joke. And I think we need some form of communication, at least for a crisis moment like this. This isn't just one channel. We've just looked at a bunch of channels that have been hijacked by this ETC Foundation. So I don't know, again, if this is ETC Foundation. It definitely couldn't be. I'm not gonna, I, I would probably wager my fucking testicles that it's not the ETC Foundation doing it themselves. But whoever it is, is definitely misrepresenting your organization and what you stand for. And if you're okay with that, I guess don't fucking say anything. But then you're just as complicit and responsible in what's going on to many people's accounts on the internet. And for those people who are involved in this organized hack, I hope the comeuppance comes where you're eventually found out for what you're doing and there is gonna be some form of involvement because not only are you involving a big name in what you're doing, but you're actually interpreting at least some form of business operations for some of these larger channels that are out there. You know, I, 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 I swear it, it drives me fucking insane when I see this kind of stuff. You know, this is why I keep telling you guys, account security is a big fucking deal to me, okay? Because at the end of the day, these are people who, who have had channels for years. The heart, blood, sweat, and sheer, tears that they have fucking poured into their channels have been completely gone. I, I couldn't even imagine to wake up one day and have my channel fucking deleted because of it being hacked. It, you know what? For what it's considered, this shit really does hit me. You know, at the end of the day, these people, again, put all of their souls into it and it's gone. And YouTube ain't doing fucking worth a shit for it. I hope YouTube steps in, takes care of this stuff, and I really hope that this hack gets some form of a resolution because it's spreading like fucking wildfire at this point, and it's gotten beyond a joke. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. This is me, Mudahar, and 
if anything, let's just get this to trend so that these people can get their fucking channels back. And something can be said rather than nothing at all. This is me, Mudahar, and I am out.